<laughs> What's going on guys? It's your boy Snickerfords here and today I'm bringing you back to my channel with a little vlog. I know you guys like this style of video. I don't know why. I just talked to a camera and you guys seem to like it. Maybe it's the color correction. I don't know. It's hot as fuck in my room so let's get this started. Alright, today I wanted to talk to you guys about girls or dating, whatever you want to call it. Um, I know there are like a small amount of girls or women that watch me. I apologize for if I've ever offended you in any way or whatnot. I, I follow a lot of my supporters um, on Snapchat, Instagram, stuff like that. And I notice a lot of you younger kids, I guess, teenagers. I want to say, I see you guys like, I don't want to say crying or anything like that, but I see you guys are always talking about that one girl you can have, the one girl you want, and I was that person too at one point. But, let me tell you something, I've gotten every single girl I've ever wanted, ever. And that's probably funny coming from a guy like me, because I, I mean, I'm not the sexiest motherfucker out there, but I'm pretty cute though. You know what I'm saying? I'm a bigger guy, I've always been a bigger guy. I'm very confident in what I do, and you guys should too. Confidence is key, I've always preached that to you guys. And the thing with that is, it's hard. Um, going through teenage years, it's very hard to have confidence because people are always bullying you and everything like that. Bullying's another subject I can always touch on, but I wanted to talk to you about dating. And I know it's probably not the best coming from a guy like me, me being single and everything, but it's a choice. I, I, I believe me or not it is a choice I've gone through a lot in my life as far as women girls whatever you want to call them but I wanted to talk to you about the one time I was too scared to approach somebody and the reason why I want to talk about it, like I said I follow a lot of you younger teenagers um, just because you support me I support you back on your social media stuff like that nothing weird I promise fifth grade I was in school there was this beautiful girl and I, I she, she had the prettiest eyes ever. Fifth grade. I can still picture her right now. That's kind of weird because me being a fifth grader looking at her, yeah. Let's put it that way. That sounds a lot better. I like this girl, fifth grade, sixth grade, and it was funny because we rode the same bus, we were in the same class, and I think that's why I liked her so much because we were always around each other, I guess you could say. I knew how she was, she knew how I, how I was, I was always a class clown, I didn't really give a shit about homework or nothing like that. I guess you could call me a bad boy. <laughs> no? Okay. But one day, I'm riding the bus, and I was like one of the first, or one of the couple first stops to get off, it was like, I was like the third stop to get off. And her friend, like her best friend, she, she told me on the bus I was getting ready to get off. And she said, hey, so and so really likes you. And I was like, really? And I didn't know if she was playing with me or not. And she's like, yeah, she really likes you, this and that. And I was like, okay. <laughs> and I, I, I didn't really know how to approach it because I liked her so much and I was so nervous. And that's the thing, guys, you, you gotta not be nervous. You're gonna lose out on chances. That's the one girl that got away that I, I wish I would've talked to, maybe dated, stuff like that. I know it's fifth grade shit, little kid shit, but I, I really wish I would've taking that opportunity to actually go out with her, anything like that, because I still think about her till this day, and it's kind of weird. Um, I doubt she'd ever watch this, but in case you are, hey, what's up? I know we're a little bit older now. I have the biggest crush on you. I know you had a crush on me back in fifth grade. Um, maybe it's a little different now. Maybe you're, I'm not your type anymore, but the thing is, you guys gotta take the chance. You gotta take the opportunity, even if you know Maybe she don't like you, or maybe if you know, or don't know they like you, take that shot. Ask them. And I, I promise you, if you say no, like if you say, hey, can we go out on a date? Could, could I take you to the movie sometime? It doesn't have to be, hey, do you want to be my girlfriend? No, it doesn't. None of my relationships have ever started out, hey, hey, you want to, you want to, hey. You wanna be my girlfriend? Wow, I'm ugly. Jesus, I'll back off now, sorry. Start off small, start off simple, start off with, I don't know, buying her lunch. Start off with, do you wanna go see a movie sometime? Me and a couple friends, I'll pay for you. See what she says. The worst they can say is no. But in your guys' head, your friends are gonna be like, aha, she said no to you. 
she doesn't want to date you. She probably thinks you're ugly or fat or stu stupid. I don't know. That's what I was afraid of was the, the worst criticism in my own head was going to come from my friends, not to her saying no. But if you ask her and she does say no, at least you know you took the chance to say, hey, would you like to go do something? If they say no, okay. All right, cool. See you later, bitch. <laughs> no, no, don't, don't tell her that. But it, at least you'll know because I always think back to that moment like what if what if I would have said hey so-and-so would you like to go on a date L little things like that could change your entire life I know that sounds weird but I I've always thought about it like hey what what if we would have went out what if I would have talked to her what if we would have dated for forever and I, I don't know it's weird to think about but like I said that's the one girl that got away I've had huge crushes on girls I've I've had girls at work that I thought were the most beautiful girls in the world. And I think that's the reason why I'm single because I, I always, always, always set a high standard for myself. Even though I, I look the way I look, I'm a big guy, I may not be the prettiest, a cute boy face, but in the end, I've always gotten the girl I've wanted. And it's confidence. And you guys need to get out of your own head. Stop thinking about what people are gonna say or make fun of you about you're your own person and that's what this video is about don't be scared take chances take risks just don't kill nobody over it <laughs> other than that this is just kind of a, a short I, I guess quoting dating helping video if you guys enjoyed please rate comment and subscribe and I'll kiss your mom on the lips maybe I'll date your mom I'll be your dad think about it peace Bad. Ooh. Ooh, kill him. If you guys have been tuning into my live streams, if you have, thank you. If you haven't, this is what we've been working on. And I've been teasing it on my Instagram and Twitter. If you guys don't follow me on that, you should.